Your other option and the better option if you value your time is of course to hire a proven lead generation company that has a proven track record, they have testimonials on their website, they have video evidence of other people expressing their gratitude for the service and partner up with one of those people. Uh, hello everybody, I am back again with another agent. Uh, this time an agent out in New Jersey. I am here with Fran. Fran, would you like to introduce yourself to the people uh, briefly? Maybe uh, your name, where you're operating out of, and your years of experience in the business? Hi. Um, so my name is Frances Tuck, and I've been in the business going on 15 years now. And I cover New Jersey and some parts of uh, northern um, New York, more of the suburb areas. And um yeah, I've been doing this for a long time now. I've started the business when it was really tough because uh, the market wasn't the best around like 2007. So I've been trying my best to do what I can to survive and, you know, a full-time agent. Definitely, I'm committed to this full-time. Like you said, absolutely committed to seeing what you can do to, to sur I think you said survive. So uh, <laughs> rather than survive, we want to thrive. So along those lines, I wanted to talk about uh, what we were just going through in terms of our results so far. So in a matter of two weeks, we've had 218 leads come in. Uh, of those people, we've had 20 appointments and live transfers. So somewhere in 10 to 12% conversion range. And then we also have on top of those 20 appointment and live transfers just in the past couple of weeks, we also have 70 ongoing conversations with people that are just on the fence about to turn into appointments and live transfers. So knowing that we've gone through those results, I just wanted to ask you uh, what your overall experience has, uh, numbers aside, I guess, what your overall experience has been like so far working with us. Um, actually, it's been very overwhelming. I didn't realize uh, <laughs> there was going to be so much activity, but it's kind of nice. That it's like a system. I mean, I worked for a company, another company for 14 years, which really helped me with getting leads and starting out my foundation for real estate. But um, I moved on to another company a little over a month ago. So I was a little nervous because now it's really time for me to kind of stand on my own. Not that I never stood on my own, but it's just that I had to find another way to not rely on just the company itself. The the brand itself and really, you know, think outside the box. This has definitely given me an opportunity to also like refine my um, attitude with how I work my business, you know, setting up a system yeah. as well. Yeah. Because I know it took a little while to get on board for me because I really didn't have things lined up the way I should, you know, because I really thought I was going to be at this one company from start to finish. And now that I had moved on, it was like starting from fresh and yeah. trying to figure out where, where I need to go. So this really helped me to kind of remind myself that I really do need to get organized and have to work on a system to better myself in this business, because, you know, we always have to adapt and definitely a lot to learn too as well. Yes, for sure. For sure. I think you're, you're spot on there. If you don't, if you don't have the systems in place, one, you might be running around like a chicken with your head cut off, but two, if you don't have uh, systems and you're not constantly evolving or doing something that you can stand on your own, you're constantly riding what I call uh, like the GCI roller coaster, right? Where yep. it's, it's up and down and then like, where's the next deal coming from? That type of thing. So you really have to have those systems in place, especially if you are going to act on your own. So I'm glad that we were, we've been able to pair up and, and I'm excited for our relationship going forward too, because it's just crushing it so far. Mm -hmm. But um, I wanted to ask uh, overall, uh, what have you liked about the service or what's your favorite part about the service as a whole? Um, I think the accountability is quite nice. And also um, just the system of where the appointments are made for me. And when I do contact someone, they are expecting my call. And they're very open to uh, starting conversation. So I'm still early on. So it's right now it's more about conversation than a meeting one on one. But, you know, again, we have to kind of um, nurture these leads. Right. Yeah. And, and kind of remind them that we're there and follow up. And um, also the accountability of you contacting me. It's like whenever you say, oh, you know, Fran, can we get, you know, can we catch up? I'm like, I don't know. It's just like, it's like clock, clockwork. I'm like, okay, for some reason, <laughs> I, I'm able to make that time for Mason, you know, yeah. whenever Mason calls, I'm like, yes, 
okay, I'll, you know, take that time. <laughs> and usually I put things off a lot, but, but when you, when you're reaching out, I'm like, oh, I appreciate it because sometimes I do need to kind of uh, refresh, you know, recharge because, yeah. you know, a lot's going on, you know, a lot is going on, which is a good thing, but yeah. you know, I just got to, you know, keep on top of things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that, I mean, that's part of the reason we do the the weekly touch bases. And that, that's why I always handle those instead of a number, uh, another member of the team. That's why I like to keep our partnerships. And I think yes. it's, it's better for everybody, right? It's accountability on our end to make sure that we're doing stuff right. And if we need to dial in the system, we can. And then also we can, we can keep each other accountable in terms of you hopping on the phone as well, or the other agents that I partner with, or the other teams that I partner with, so that we can make sure that we're dialing their process as well. Because at the end of the day, it's all about making sure that we're seamless as possible to make sure we're mm-hmm. seeing the, the most return on our investment as possible right so yes uh, so that's part of the reason we do that so and i appreciate the the kind words that you said there about that so well, just a second ago you mentioned that and i think it's important to address you mentioned you had a few concerns ahead of time in terms of what the system was going to be like, what the experience was going to be like, and that type of thing, especially since you were in a position where you were kind of standing on your own and trying to supplement for yourself now that you didn't have that older, uh, the team that you came from before. So knowing that you had those concerns going in and knowing that you've had an experience now to see what the system is like, the accountability, like you mentioned, uh, how has that uh I guess, how are you feeling now in terms of your concerns going in versus uh, how you feel about things now that you've had that experience? So, you know, with real estate, um, for me, I'm like a one man show or one woman show. So um, it's kind of nice. I feel like I have my own little organization now where, you know, appointments are being made. And um, every now and then I do have like contact as well. And also someone just looking out for me, just making sure that, you know, I'm on the same page with everybody else. So that's really, really has helped. You know, it's not, you know, I do represent a brand, a brokerage, but, but it's also my, you know, as we always say in our real estate, it really, we're independent contractors. So we're, we are our own business. So it's kind of like having my own system without other people knowing I have my own system or my own little organization in place. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's all about, that's kind of how we set it up. And that's why we make it so custom and friendly on the front end so that on the back end, even with the people that come through for appointments and live transfers that you're talking to, that you're getting these buyers and sellers agreements for, there are people that they genuinely, they think that you're just producing like that you're the one that's sourcing them, that, that it's you producing the opportunities for yourself, which is the great part about uh, about what we do here as well. But I'm glad, I'm really glad that it's working out uh, the way that you wanted it to and, and you feel mm-hmm. that way because uh, it's uh, it's one thing to to partner up and be wishful and hopeful at the beginning and, and, and not know, you know what I mean? Or especially when it comes to the accountability, uh, but it's really nice to know, especially on our end, uh, like you've been great with communication then talking about the accountability and, and getting back and forth with one another, or if, or if we need to adjust something, you're quick to respond and let me know. And we fix things. Uh, any any of the little things that have come up right away. Uh, and we got another in-depth plan for the future to continue to keep these results going forward. So I'm really happy that you feel that way because it means the world, uh, especially to me since Constant Closings is my baby. I got the team, but it means a lot to them too, to hear uh, that folks like yourself are really happy, Fran. So I appreciate your input. Now, one last question I would ask, uh, and I ask everybody, if if somebody was on the fence about working with us, they may have those same concerns that you did in terms of uh, they're trying to find something to source for themselves, uh, source appointments and live transfers for themselves because they don't have it from another brokerage, or even just somebody who's given it a shot before with other people but didn't necessarily see the results come through or the accountability. What would you say to those people that were on the fence about considering constant closings? You know, usually like I would kind of dismiss all these invitations from other types of uh, companies. I don't know why I connected with you that one day and replied. <laughs> because the it was it was a little odd how I and then I actually took the Zoom call. I never take the Zoom call either. But um there was something about it where it just, you know, I you know, if you go into other companies, I've tried some other uh ways of marketing, but it's just that I didn't I just felt like I was lost in the system and and not knowing like, you know. You know, I'm just competing against a whole bunch of other agents for the same leads, probably. But 
uh, through constant closings, I just felt there was like this personal service and even like a personal relationship where you're able to just reach out and just make sure that, you know what, we're on the same page and that, you know, you have a team behind you, you know? So even if you're a team of one, that you still have this team behind you that's trying to better your business, but also kind of refine the way you work your business as well. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad that you feel that way, Fran. Like I said, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to relay all that to the team too, because I'll be tickled okay. to hear it too. Uh-huh. So. I appreciate the the kind words, Fran, and thank you for sharing everything with the others and some of your past experiences with the other people that may be watching this as well. I I appreciate your time. And of course, again, I appreciate the kind words that you said. I I appreciate you, Fran. I look forward to our our experience as we continue to go forward here and uh, rock and roll through all these appointments and live transfers, buyer and seller agreements and all that good stuff. So thank you for your time, Fran. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good talking to you. Bye-bye.